Now let's take a look at kilocalories for athletes. Uh, calorie intakes for athletes is an incredibly important issue. Um, simply put, many athletes uh, just don't eat enough. You can see some pictures here of athletes collapsing in Ironman competitions um, because they did not eat enough during those competitions. Um, eating enough for training is really important. So let's take a look at uh, the caloric needs for an athlete. The caloric needs for an athlete are higher than the needs of uh, a sedentary individual or an average American. Um, that is because athletes have more fat-free mass, that is more muscle, uh, than uh, regular people. Uh, so one of the first things you need to do to determine the kilocalories that you need each day is to determine your fat free mass. Okay? That's the body mass which um, is independent of your fat mass. And the first measurement that you'll need is some kind of measurement of the amount of fat in your body. There are many ways of, of doing that. The most accurate ways is a, a DEXA scan. Um, but one of the simplest methods and one of the uh, methods that's available to most of us uh, in uh, college uh, athletics departments will be to use a bioimpedance scale. Now, bioimpedance scales, uh, like those illustrated here, are not the most accurate way of measuring fat free mass, but they're going to be good enough for determining the, the number of kilocalories you need each day. So, find yourself um, a bioimpedance scale, uh, stand on that scale and measure the amount of body fat that you have. Work out the percentage of body fat that you have. Once you have the percentage of um, body fat, you can take your body weight um, and subtract the weight of the fat. So, for example, if I'm uh, 160 pounds and I have 10% body fat, 160 pounds and 10% of 160 is 10% times 160 is 16. So 160 pounds of weight minus 16 pounds of fat means that I have 144 pounds of fat-free mass. Now let's take that 144 pounds of fat-free mass and work out how many kilocalories I need each day. Athletes require 40 to 45 kilocalories per kilogram of fat-free mass. 40 is the absolute minimum uh, kilocalories per kilogram of body weight or fat-free mass that uh, an athlete needs. Your target should be 45 kilograms or kilocalories per kilogram of uh, fat-free mass. So we know that I'm 144 pounds uh, in terms of fat-free mass. I'm 160 pounds minus 16 pounds of fat. Um, 144 pounds. You can divide that by 2.2. This is the conversion factor to get the number of kilogr kilograms. Um, my weight in kilograms, uh, my fat-free mass in kilograms is 65.5 kilograms. So the absolute minimum number of kilocalories I need to support my triathlon training is 65.5 kilograms um, times 40 kilocalories. That's the absolute bare minimum. Uh, kilocalories I need to support training. Better, and this is the healthy target, is to take 65.5 kilograms, multiply it by 45 kilo kilocalories per kilogram, and you'll see that I need close to 2,949 uh, kilocalories, nearly 3,000 kilocalories every day to support my triathlon training. This is before you add the number of kilocalories you burn during a workout. So if I work out and burn 1,000 calories in a day uh, because I swim and I bike and I run, um, then I will need 3,949 kilocalories. That's a lot of kilocalories. Most athletes underfuel and because of that lose um, muscle, muscle, um, muscle mass. There it is. Fat-free mass times 45 kilocalories per kilogram um, and then you add to it your exercise calories. And that exercise can be walking, it can be running, it can be doing weight training, it can, can be stair climbing or skipping or cycling or playing a sport of any any sort, even yoga burns kilocalories. So 
Um, if you compare this to the USDA um, calculator or most online calculators, um, you will find that they do not give you sufficient calories to support your, uh, your athletic lifestyle. This is the correct way to find the number of kilocalories you need. Make sure you do this calculation and then take a look at your exercise calories as well and try to understand how many calories are you burning each and every day. And on days you're burning more kilocalories, you're going to have to ingest more kilocalories. This is the formula that you will see um, used online. Usually it's the Harris-Benedict uh, equation um, with a, uh, a factor that takes into account whether you're sedentary, active, highly active, or so forth. Um, unfortunately, that, that factor, uh, the number, the multiplier that is used to go from the Harris-Benedict equation to the number of kilocalories you need uh, is an uh, assumption that is not valid for um, athletes. So try not to use online calculators to work out your caloric requirements. Try to use the equation um, that we um, have, um, have here on the previous slides. Fat-free mass times 45 kilocalories per kilogram. Then add your exercise kilocalories. What about, what about calorie deficits? Um, if you run a calorie deficit, um, and that would be low energy availability, that means you're not getting sufficient calories, that would be below 40 uh, kilocalories per kilogram of fat-free mass, around the range of 35 um, kilocalories uh, per kilogram of fat-free mass, um, you will see dramatic losses in performance. Um, and athletes become sick and injured uh, when they drop below 40 uh, kilocalories uh, per kilogram of fat-free mass. Studies have shown that 35 kilocalories per kilogram of fat-free mass um, will rapidly result in athletes uh, losing performance and becoming sick. And that doesn't matter if you're trying low-carb or ketogenic or paleo or low-fat or intermittent fasting or um, any other diet. Um, however you choose uh, running any kind of calorie deficits and uh, low energy availability will uh, ultimately lead to becoming sick uh, and injured. So please fuel yourself correctly uh, with sufficient kilocalories. And it's more kilocalories than most of you um, think.